You can hear about hempcrete, but until you build it and you walk in it and then you believe in it, there's no way you'd go back to the way we used to build. I didn't like it anyway. It's ticking all the boxes uh, as a building material and it's got to go mainstream. And hopefully this house will show this is how you can build beautiful homes, locally grown, because these houses are just the way we should be building in the future. Hempcrete itself is actually incredibly simple. It's just um, hemp, lime binder and water. And I love the idea that it just hardens over time. So it's really natural and sustainable. A lot of people ask, how do you build a hemp house? And it starts with a seed. We can actually grow your house in 14 weeks and you'll be carbon negative building. There's uh, sound insulation qualities, termite proof, antibacterial antifungal, breathable. It sequesters carbon, which I love. My husband and I actually went and saw someone trying to burn hemp with a blowtorch and it, w it wasn't burning. It was scorching, but not burning. So um, just the implications of that in a state where we have bushfires and building in the country is, you know, mind blowing how fantastic that could be. When you're building a hemp house, you, it's about carbon sequestration. So this house is sequestered nearly 8,000 kilograms. A brick wouldn't do that. A weatherboard wouldn't do that. This is just another added benefit of building a hemp house. Every day we use the bulker bags, we took the bulker bags back to the processing facility, we refilled them again and we brought them back. So we reduced our carbon footprint and our landfill immensely on a house of this size. Another added bonus again on this house is using the natural clays. There's a natural clay finish. So you're moving away from paint, your VOCs, paint contains polymer and would hold dust. Clay does not. I was really quite passionate about building a really healthy home. Every wall that's not hemp has been rendered with a clay um, render. It's beautifully fine. It, it's really quite reminiscent of Venetian plaster and it, it on its own is just absolutely stunning and beautiful. And it's, it's local. So using local materials and not importing anything, we're reducing our shipping and shipping is becoming very expensive. If we can go back to natural materials, using natural clays from Western Australia, that's for us reducing our carbon footprint. This is what we're always trying to achieve. I've been um, working with Trout Earth on this hemp render and been working for a while trying to find the right sizes. So this is a lime based render with, with hemp, which you can see the integrity is holding together. Also, it's opening up a bit more to allow that breathability. We're pretty excited to be, once again, doing something different, keep pushing the boundaries, how far can we go? What Charlene had wanted to do was, she wanted a concrete look and industrial. Well, that was the whole theme of this house, and as you've seen, from that concrete look to adding hemp, and, and she was so accommodating and believing in what we were about to achieve, and it's very unique, it's very different. But not only that, if this was a cement-based render, you might as well wrap your house in plastic because cement doesn't breathe. What this house is allowing this house to breathe and control the temperature of the walls internally and externally. And that's the whole idea why you're building a hemp house is mostly for your thermals and your breathability. It, it gives us the opportunity to really change some minds. And I think we need to get to that point and break the stigma so that people can see what can be done with this building material. So that's very exciting for me. Definitely what we're, we've got going on here is like eco-tourism. So it's eco-friendly, it's sustainable. We have to grow this and this produces jobs for farmers and not only that and in the building industry. So it's a part of the big industry and a big food chain along the line. We process the inner core of the plant. It's called the hemp herd, which is this material here, which then gets brought back and you can produce a house like this, growing locally and far better for the environment, which has produced jobs and carbon sequestration. Building with natural materials, it's a way forward.